Hey everyone, Big Man here. So what I want to do today is I want to answer a question that I'm sure many, many people have asked in the past. And that question is, what actually is the best engine layout? So we have the radial four, which is just four cylinders in a radial configuration. We have the flat four or the box of four, which is two sets of two flat we have the V4, two sets of two in a V configuration, and the inline four, which is a line of four cylinders. All of these have the same controller that is designed for testing. They will all be powering a medium generator. We'll be measuring the generator output and the engine RPS. I guess my hypothesis for this thing is that it's going to go radial, then boxer, then V, then inline. The reason being is that the radial, there seems to be something about crankshafts crankshaft length that mm, changes how much power you put out of an engine or crankshaft resistance i think it's kind of called within the game files or something and i'm guessing that the radial four because it's only got a single one compared to the box of four and the v4 having two and then the inline four having four crankshafts i feel like this one's going to perform the worst and this one the best so I guess let's start our tests. So first things first, let's put our throttle all the way up. And I'm going to lower my game volume to like 5% because it's going to be extremely loud. And let's see this. So as you can see, all of these now have the clutch fully engaged. And let's see how they're all doing. So we have on the radial four, we've got looks like 12.15 RPS. On the Boxer, 11.77. On the V4, 11.77. And on the inline, 11.18. So, this is full throttle. Like, these are getting the maximum throttle you can. This engine, the maximum it can do at a 1 to 1 ratio like this, is 27.73 gen output and looks like 12.16 RPS. We come to 26.86 which is not a lot less and again 26.86 so it looks like there's really no difference between these two when it comes to configuration of the engine i don't see what sort of difference there would be to be honest we assume there might have been something different but it doesn't look like there is any difference so that's really cool and then the inline four the drop across from the inline four from the radial you know 27.75 to 25.32 is quite a lot or 12.16 rps through to 11.19 you know that's a whole rps drop but otherwise there's not really much to say about these so what we can conclude from this is there is no correlation between where you put the cylinders on the crankshaft and the performance because this is four and this is four, two, two banks of two, each just in different configurations, same output. I think what is worth doing then is making the assumption that it is dependent on the crankshaft amount that you have. And the more that you have, the more resistance you have and the lower the RPS of your engine. I'm not sure what it comes down to for fuel usage. I, and that is something I will have to test. By the looks of things and look, the fuel thing will be in another video of kind of what's the most fuel efficient engine uh, we will do that in another video probably next one but for this one i think we can make the conclusion from this and this is a quick little test but it's a good test that the radial configuration of engines is the best one you can do because it has the minimum amount of crankshaft pieces so that's really the only conclusion that we have to come to today there's not much else to decide on basically the best way to do your engines if you can put them in a radial configuration put them in a radial configuration i guess two conclusions radial best engine do it if you can otherwise go for the box or the v don't go for the inline crankshaft count is what hinders the performance of your engine and the other thing to conclude is that the way that you configure your pistons around your crankshafts does not affect the performance of the engine. It 
only thing that does, if the cylinder count is the same, is the amount of crankshafts you have. So that's a big thing. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, and if you did, let me know in the comments what you'd like me to test next. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.